Welcome back to today's more reports on Tuesday the 7th of June with Mirage Japan Market Analyst at Antet Markets. Let's look at Eurodollar now and we've seen more of a consolidation really on Eurodollar other than anything else really with any significant direction. 10 pips up on the day after a pretty sort of consolidatory candle that we saw yesterday. Two ticks of gains yesterday. Um, on the day uh, from the open to the close uh, sort of 70 tick candle um, in all I mean it's a fairly consolidatory candle generally and um, again not really seeing a great deal of direction today so I think generally speaking we're still looking for this to be a confirmation um, of the uh, of the strong move to the upside that we saw on the payroll support on Friday we've, we've had the Yellen speech and the market has been settled ever since that so I think that the um, the uh, the sort of uh, sort of change of outlook that we've seen following on from that payroll support has been sort of or is being now factored in. Um, but you look at these momentum indicators, you'd say that stochastics are strong, MACD lines are crossed higher, the RSI is above 50, so it's all looking pretty positive. And I think that that would suggest still that rallies, are, sorry, corrections are now going to be sort of bought into. So you look at the hourly chart and you think, well, where are those corrections are going to come in? I mean, you've got initially. Uh, the sort of line of support around 1320, 1330, um, which is held um, over the last day or so. And beyond that, you've got the, the sort of a, a minor breakout around 1290 as your support, these um, sort of reaction low, reaction high from sort of mid May. And then after that, you've got the 1445 breakout support so there there is support on the way down and um i think if this uh this move just continues to if this move does actually unwind it means to be honest it's holding up pretty nicely and as these near-term momentum indicators do actually just uh, unwind slightly back towards more sort of uh, normal levels um following off of that sharp move um i think that that this is this is all sort of pointing towards a fairly strong or fairly supportive move for the euro um, and we could ultimately see further gains in due course but for now it's basically just sort of consolidating sideways and waiting for the next move. You've got 1392 which was yesterday's high arguably that's now sort of the resistance in, in place that's protecting 1345 so 1445 from that uh, reaction high in May um, but 1465 is, is the longer term sort of limit um, sort of barrier of the uh, of the range although we have been above that that was tended to be the barrier over the past sort of 12 14 months um, and uh, it uh, seems to still be that that I would imagine would still be a gauge for the for the market so yeah I would say from the outlook of the price movement in the last sort of day or so that the market is holding on to these gains and um, I think ultimately little corrections are going to be bought into. So I wish you good luck in your trading on a euro dollar and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.